humichar. It's what's for dinner. Hey, Long Journey friends. It's Russ. Welcome back to another episode. I'm uh, buying into the biochar craze. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, biochar. This particular uh, application that I'm going to be doing today is Anderson's Humichar. What is Anderson's Humichar? It's 30% humic acid, 40% biochar. Let's talk a little bit about biochar. Biochar is all the craze. Biochar is derived from a process called pyrolysis. It's uh, a lot of uh, organic material, it could be dead trees, wood. Um, I understand coconut um, shells, things like that um, can be used in the manufacture of what we call biochar. Um, pyrolysis is a process where the material is heated in a um, zero or low oxygen environment and it results in, it, it's a, similar to a manufacturing charcoal. Pyrolysis um, essentially gives us a high carbon material which is used um, throughout agriculture for amending soils. The origins of biochar go back to the pre-Columbians in the Amazon who were known for amending their crop soils with charcoal waste. There was their waste products um, and it was referred to as terra preta or dark soil. Um, that region is well known for having um, you know, high ag soil um, that produces um, significant crops. Um, so anyway, the last couple of years, um, biochar is the craze. You've been hearing about it. There are different manufacturers um, who are providing this material. It's not all derived from the same source, um, but today what I'm gonna be using is the Anderson's Humichar. And as I said, as it said it's charged with uh, humic acid and it is in the uh, Anderson's DG particle, which is the dispersible granule. And um, I can do a little demo of that. I'm sure you've seen it on other channels. Um, basically the, the uh, material just explodes if you drop it in some water. And I'll, I'll provide a demo here um, so you can see it. The benefits of biochar in agriculture and of course in our lawns is it um, provides a higher carbon content in the soil, which is beneficial um, especially in acidic soils, such as mine, the clay. It aids in water retention, nutrient retention. It provides um, microbes, uh, homes basically, in the soil, um, so they can do what they need to do to help break down the nutrients that the uh, turf grass is gonna uptake. Um, so it's a great soil amending product. I have spread um, some of the Anderson's humic acid product granular on my lawn in the past. This product is the Humichar, which is a combination of humic and the biochar. As far as the application rate is concerned, um, I don't really think you can over apply it. Anderson's recommends um, one to two pounds per thousand square feet. Um, I, let's just round mine up. It's, it's actually 9,000, but let's round it up to 10. This is a uh, 40 pound bag. So theoretically I could do um, four apps with this. Um, this is one of the pricier um, biochar products on the market. Um, of course, it's available through Amazon. So, you know, even though, even if you have Prime and you have free shipping, there's shipping built in. Um, this bag is not cheap, um, but like I said, if I divide it over um, two months, it's not that bad. Um, am I gonna use this exclusively this season? No, um, there are some other products on the market. One uh, new product that just hit the market is Yard Mastery's Soil Mastery product. And I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here. Um, it is a 500. It's um, a granular biostimulant soil amendment. It includes humic, biochar, gypsum, kelp, and iron. Um, and that is another Anderson's product that I understand was specially blended for yard mastery. I'm gonna be able to get two applications out of this bag, so I will probably um, do an application in April. I'll do one in May. And then I think um, maybe I will um, try the Yard Mastery Soil Master product later in the season. Um, there are also some Miramichi Green products available at Site One um, under the Lesco brand. Um, so I also want to try that. So subscribe to the channel and keep checking back. Um, you'll see more titles on the upcoming videos um, similar to this, and I'll string them together in a playlist. And I want to show you guys the different materials, what they look like in the spreader, and just give you my 
opinion on how they spread. Um, none of this is sponsored. I buy all these products. Um, nobody's shipping them to me for free. Um, so I'm also economically inclined to, you know, do a little research and use the products that I think are giving me the bigger bang for my buck. Um, I am very interested in conditioning my soil. I really believe over the last couple seasons that has done more for the health of my lawn and the aesthetic look of it than applying any kind of fertilizer. All right, team at the uh, loading station. I have my uh, Earthways 2600 um, set to application setting 13. I'll be recording this. This is the first time I'm using the Anderson's Humichar. I have to say, you gotta like Anderson's product is beautiful. I mean, look how the prills are just, I mean, this is carbon, I can touch it. There's no herbicide in here. Um, it's safe. You probably could eat it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's beautiful. Okay, team, so um, it dispersed rather well. Um, I actually opened the gate on my spreader a little bit. Um, and then I closed it back down to the prescribed setting, which was 13, because I didn't think it was coming out. But these are really small granules, and I didn't hear them hitting the lawn. Um, definitely, um, if you apply it at the prescribed rate, um, you probably can do two applications um, at two pounds per thousand. It's a 40 pound bag. Um, but you know what, if you're just getting into the biochar and you wanna lay it on heavy, um, you can just you know go for it. I would set, set my uh, earthways probably at 15, cover the whole property, and then uh, you know start um, lapping again if I wanted to get the whole thing out. I am gonna try um, the Yard Mastery product. I'm also probably gonna try the Lesco product that's available at site one also sometime this season. I wanna do a monthly application of biochar this year. Um, this is a supplement to the biostim pack that I've been using with the humic acid because that's putting carbon in the soil and some of the other biostim products also have humic in it. Um, so that's also adding carbon. But this is the biochar. It's good for the lawn. It's good for soil amendment. Um, it does also aid in raising pH in acidic soils um, from the literature that I read. Um, if, you, if you find otherwise, um, please leave some uh, notes below. So anyway, I uh, stole a little cake plate from the kitchen. Make sure the waste's not around. And uh, we're gonna watch these um, Anderson's dispersible granules um, explode in the water. So let's check it out. So a little closer look first at the material. So you guys can see, it is a nice product. Uh, I have to give Anderson credit. I mean, they do make a nice, um, granular material. It's dry, it went through the spreader well, um, I had no problem whatsoever, okay? And I'll give you my opinion as I try the other biochar products. So let's um, drop a large granule in the water. Kaboom, just kidding. So that'll probably start to disperse momentarily. We'll drop a few more little ones in here. So we got them in. As you can see, we'll take a closer look. As you can see, they're already starting to disperse. And I'll just use my finger. I mean, that is pretty wild. If this is laying in the lawn and you, you get a quarter inch or a half an inch of rain, that's fantastic. So we know that there are, is another YouTuber who has done this uh, many times and it's probably why most of us have tried the Anderson's Humichar product. Um, I have to say this is the first time I've used it. Um, I do like the way it's spread. I like the way it's dissolving. Okay, um, pros and cons of uh, Anderson's Humichar. Con, pricey. Only available through Amazon that I can find. There is a link in the show notes if you guys want to check it out. Pros, dispersible. This thing, uh, I have to admit, um, these DG particles just exploded. I mean, look at this. It's totally exploded now. I mean, it's, my wife's gonna kill me if she comes home and finds me out here with her, with her plate um, full of uh, humichar. I'm gonna get yelled at. The pros are 
Um, it disperses great. Um, it's a combination of humic acid and biochar. It's derived from a wood product. Um, there are other biochars out there that are from different organic materials and there's debates as to which one is better. Um, I probably would assume that any biochar is better than none at all. Um, there are uh, soil mending properties of biochar that we discussed earlier, um, such as good for acidic um, soils, good for microbial activity in your turf. Um, good for nutrient retention, good for water retention. There's probably nothing um, bad about it. Um, obviously, as we discussed, it was used um, all the way back into uh, pre-Columbian days in the Amazon, um, where they have some of the richest soil on the planet. Um, so there's something to be said for biochar. This season, it will be uh, part of my regular regimen. I do plan on applying a biochar product monthly, and that is in addition to the next biostim liquids um, that also have um, some carbon um, contributions to my soil. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, um, see what other products I'm gonna try. Again, I purchase all these, nobody's sending me any of this stuff. So I am um, observant of cost and, you know, versus benefit. Um, and I do wanna try other products. I will be trying the Yard Mastery product um, there is a link to that also if you guys want to jump jump ahead of me and give that a shot. All right guys, so um, that's my first foray into the biochar world. I know some of you guys have probably been using it for years. Leave some notes below. I'm curious to know what your favorite biochar product is, where you source it from, and um, give me a comparison. So I want to wish you guys success in your lawns this season. Get out there and get it done. And I will see you next time on Lawn Journeys. And uh, let's take a look at this soup.